The main tool available for you to use in PowerPoint is the ribbon. This object allows you to perform all of the commands available within the program. The ribbon is divided into tabs. Within these tabs are different groups of commands. The commands within each group can be accessed either through the use of buttons, boxes, or menus that are available within the group. Also note that for advanced options, or for users who are more familiar with the old dialog box functionality of PowerPoint, you can often click the dialog box launcher button that appears in the lower right corner of each group on the currently displayed or active tab within the ribbon in order to open a dialog box of options that are available for that group. Now you should also notice that you can double click on an active tab within the ribbon to both hide and show the contents of the ribbon. So this can be a handy way to gain additional workspace while composing the slides of the active presentation. Now you can simply click on the main tab shown in the ribbon to switch the groups that are displayed. The default tabs that are shown in the ribbon are File in 2010 only, Home, Insert, Design, Transitions in 2010 only, Animations, Slideshow, Review, and View. You can also enable the Developer tab if using macros or code and you may possibly have PowerPoint add-ins that would appear on an add-ins tab. Now in addition to the primary tabs that are available for you to use, you will also see special contextual tabs that will appear within the ribbon when you have a particular type of object selected in your presentation. You will see contextual tabs appear, for example, when you have either a picture, table, diagram, drawing, or chart selected within your presentation slide. The groups that then appear on these contextual tabs will be directly related to the type of object selected. You can make the contextual tabs disappear by clicking away from the selected object within the presentation window.